Uh, this exhibition focuses on Turner's engagement with a world that was changing around him. He was born into an incredibly tumultuous time and time seemed to move quicker than it ever had done before. Uh, so this exhibition shows him engaging with all kinds of subjects that were new. There was war, inventions, science, politics, social history and culture of the time. you see his style evolving and really by the end of the exhibition you see how Turner became that painter of light and atmosphere and that really diffuse um, mist and the kind of tension that he creates between what you think you've seen and what you're actually looking at. Turner's style evolved really as we think a response to that changing world, the fast pace of the world around him. He needed to produce art that reflected the times in which he was living and his response was unique. Nobody else was painting in that way and we regard it as a kind of very modern aesthetic to go with the modern world he was living in. So Turner was obviously one of Britain's greatest painters and it's always great to see his big, bold, expressive works. But it's lovely to also see some of his smaller works that we might be less familiar with, some of the preparatory sketches for some of his larger works. And also to see that even though he's known for these big, expansive paintings, he was also able to master the fine details within the smaller works. So it's great to see in the show that Turner didn't just paint patriotic pictures, he was also showing the human cost of the time he was living in. So we see dead bodies on the field of battle at Waterloo, we see slavers throwing slaves overboard because they didn't want to get caught slaving, which was illegal, um, and it shows the real human cost of what was happening in Turner's time. 